I'm back with another video, and this is Kings with Castles. So it has been a while since I last played this. I have brought back Kingdoms Reborn, so you know I have to bring back Kingdoms and Castles. If you haven't seen the previous series on Kingdoms and Castles, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Stay. I don't care. Stay. This one's gonna be better. This one's gonna be. I'm better at the game. I hope. Uh, I've added in a few little mods here and there. It's just, it's just one that's a day and night cycle because I think that'll make the game look a bit nicer. And also new houses, which can also increase. Um, our population by a certain amount I'm hoping for instead of just by four or by twelve or by two or whatever whatever the housing thing was. We are going to start a brand new one. It is going to be in standard obviously. It's going to be in uh, Vintar because I'm not going to do survival. That is very difficult. Um, harsh land but a wise ruler can succeed. I am obviously a very very wise ruler. I'm going to name it after after the um, Pointville, I don't, I, I don't know if that's how I spell it, but it's it's going medieval as well. So there's no custom banner. I'm gonna go with the little snake. I, I like snakes, and um, I do like birds as well. I also like purple. So let's accept, and we need to start in a good map. Now this is not a good map. So, I want a large map, and I want a new map, please. Now this... is a bit better. Oh my god, look how many fish are there. But it's a bit... it's not big enough. I need a big chunk of land. I like the big chunk of land, but there's no... different lands. That... No. New one. This... looks good. This looks good. If I build... If I build, if I, no, I can't find the right spot, but again, here we are, here we are, here we are, this one's looking a bit better, we do, ah, shit, I need, I need AI, there we go, I can add two AI here, I want to add three, add three, there we go. It's always better to have three, and there's a good, mm, there's a decent spot here. I don't mind this. I don't mind this whatsoever. I don't mind that either. But this one has stone and iron, so I think this one's going to be the one for me. I like this. Let's add in an AI. They're all going to be medium skill level, and we are going to accept it, and we're going to start right over here. First things first, set up the keep. The keep is going to be in the middle. It's going to be right here in the middle. Because it's going to be quite important. First things first, though. Get, a, get me as much wood as possible. Clear out all those trees. There's no... There's an empty cave, but there's no wolves. I don't think there's any wolves here, which is beautiful for us. Problem is, we don't have too many trees, so I have to make sure I've got them ready and available. There we go. So, before we even get into this, we have to make sure that everything is... I kind of want it nice and symmetrical. So, I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Now, I want an inner wall and an outer wall. Inner wall will be... like here. And we probably won't have an outer wall. I don't know, because we can put the docks here. Some fishing. I don't know. I'll figure it out. We, need a, we probably are going to need a wall. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Let's check the houses. We should have new houses. New houses. There we go. Um, we've got a tall hovel, which holds six peasants. 30, 55, 8, 20. A bridge house. A commons house for 40 peasants. A block house. An apartment. And a villa. That's quite a good little added thing. I'm not going to put them down yet, obviously. But first things first, we need housing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a road going all the way around. Like that, because I think that will allow us to expand off. And I want to make sure we can expand off that way. Because I want to expand like going straight down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to build a little 
I'm going to build three this side. Or at least two. There we go. Two. Which hold, which should hold enough people then. That holds five, five villagers, yes. We only need one realistically. Now we've got 35 food. We need to make sure we get enough food down. So we need a farming area, which will probably be over here, outside the wall. Outside the wall. I mean, how far? Oh shit, I can't go that far yet. Alright, I'll build it here. Because I'm gonna build the I'm gonna build the wall here. Yes. I think I think that's the plan. Um I'm build like a gate here leading out to the farms. If I get enough wood, that's yeah. Okay. I've got I've got a plan, but it's not gonna be a very nice plan, it's gonna be pretty poor. But as long as we can survive, that's all that really matters, isn't it, really? We have played well over a hundred years of this game. Um in our last series, so I just need to make sure that everything goes well. Now, everyone won't be homeless, so everyone will be happy. We have to make sure that the happiness stays good. I don't know when the Vikings and the dragons and that will come, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. Because before any of that even happens, we're gonna make sure we get ourselves a quarry down so we can get stone, so we can get stone um, and iron to get iron, obviously. Now I'm going to try and... I need a stone first, but I won't be able to get a stone until I build... So I have to build, like, the wall, uh, the floor, the road, I should say. It's going to go out, and it's going to go out like that, so that'll be the... And it'll go straight down, straight down, straight down. Does that make sense? Because I'm going to build the wall here. It's going to go all the way down to about there. Come all the way about there, and about there. And we'll try and keep... We, we, we might not even need an outer wall, because I plan on keeping everything quite compact. We can't really expand much anyway, so I plan on, like... Eventually, this will be in, in the very, very future, but I plan on making walls going all the way around. Because we've got such a tiny island, we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry about anyone like that, but I have to make sure that we always have a nice supply of wood. So risk I shouldn't be chopping down all these trees. I'm actually going to cancel chopping down these end ones here. And the reason for that is I'm gonna put forester over there, forester over there, and a forester towards the back end over here. Because we've got we do have a witch's hut. I'm not gonna approach them just yet, because I don't have anything to offer. I assume that'll be the case. And there's also wolves there, which luckily were not towards. I thought there weren't any wolves, but there are. That's an empty cave, which is nice. There's two sets of wolves, which can be easily taken out eventually. Now then, um, I think mean, three people, uh, another five would be good. Would be good. How much wood do we have? We have 24 pieces of wood. We now have a farmer. So we do have one job. Farmer will always be at the top. Farming will always be at the top. Now, that should bring us in. How much food do they bring in? They bring in about five, I think. Five every year. And then once they become. A master farmer, which they can become, or an advanced farmer, they gain one more, so they gain six. So we're gonna put like a wooden gate just here. So I'm gonna have to build. I need to sneeze, give me a sec. Sorry about that. Alright, so I'm gonna build like that. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna sneeze again, I know I am, so if it mutes suddenly, then you know why. Okay, so. Farms can only go this side. I'm keeping that specific thing for farming, and we're going to make sure we don't go towards the edge. So I'm going to go there, there, and there. I'm going to leave this one B. So that's going to be... Uh, probably won't be, but if I want to connect them, then yeah, that'll probably be a wall. I mean, farm... I'm probably going to get one more down. One more down. Because then hopefully next year we'll get a couple more visitors, and we'll reach 10. There we go. Now we have one of them, two farmers, to get enough food. Why does that only bring us three this year? You haven't all that. Sadly, we, did, we, could, we don't have much fertile land. We can get it eventually with irrigation and stuff. And if I have a little look. 
aqueducts and, and stuff. Is it irrigation? I might have just said a wrong word there. Oh well. Oh well. No, we don't need to expand yet. We don't see the the good thing about this game is you never have more than than you need. You always only have ten. You don't go down, you don't go up unless they die. Speaking of, we need a well. We need stone as well, which is why I was building over here, wasn't I? Hopefully, their range is just outside of the quarry, which is beautiful. So I'm going to slowly start making my way down. I'm going to connect it there like that. I'm going to build a quarry. I could probably put two quarries there. I can clear the trees. So it'll be there and there, but two quarries on the same stone. Because these stones don't run out. These stones don't run out. So, at least I don't think they do. I've never got to the point where they do run out, so... So, uh, yeah. Quarries do have four people though, isn't it? Four or two. Four workers. So I'm going to build one more house. Hopefully grab 15 people. Four people working, two people on the farms. Six as, like, timber workers and, and stuff like that. I'm basically going to have two entrances and en entrances and exits. One's going to be here, and one's going to be the other side over here. The annoying thing is it's going to be quite uneven because of where I built the farms, which is my fault. But I also don't have uh, quite a bit of fertile out of that, actually. What I'm actually going to do then is I'm going to build two farms first before I demolish them. I'm going to build them just here. That's just... They're going to be this side anyway. I just need to make sure that it's even, or at least a bit even. So I want about three. So about there. So after the fourth one. One, two, three, fourth one. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, no, I'm going to do three. So that's just one, two, three. Three. Yeah. Three and three, I think, is a nice... Because I want I wanted this um, wall, so I'm, so I'm secure. I need a stockpile, though. So I need um, stone for that. I can just stockpile them in here. There is advisors, but I don't really hmm. listen to them. Because yeah. they don't... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking villagers, aren't they? Off uh, Minecraft. <laughs> Chance of flooding in heavy rain, 10%. That's not good. Because by the water. I didn't realize they could be flooded. Alright, but that's... How much are we losing? We're losing 10. We're losing 13 every year. So I'm going to have to get three farms instead of two. So I'm going to demolish these. Now. Hopefully they get built on these farms quickly. Okay, not bad. It's a, it's a it's always a quiet start to this game, and I love it. It's nice and relaxing. It is one of my favourite games um, to play at the moment. I say at the moment, I haven't played it in a while, but you know what I mean. Um, city builder games, one of my favourite ones. This go medieval, you know, good city builder games. But I do like one where you're actually in and building yourself, but then it also gets a bit tedious. And I prefer to. I, I also prefer to overlook and basically play God because it's just fun. All right. So four, 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 four farms instead of two. Four farms instead of two, because it brings in five, five roughly, plus then maybe six. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and we'll, we'll be losing. Roughly 15, so we should be gaining 5 food every year. Obviously, we now got people working on the quarry. Um, so we're now bringing in stone, which is always beautiful. They have to drag it all the way back. I don't know why they're not walking on the road. The road is there for you to walk on, people. It helps with movement speed. That is the whole reason why I build it. Built it, I should say. Now, I need a lot of stone, because these castle blocks are 12 stone each. So, I need a lot. I don't want to... Before I start expanding... 
past a certain amount of thing. I need to make sure I've got my, my defenses at least a little bit. It doesn't have to be 100% decked out with arches and stuff. It just needs to be a bit better. Plus, I don't have gold and I don't have anything like that, so... I need a... That's an advanced town, I'm pretty sure. The the Oh, no, it's not. Treasure room right here. Treasure room. Eventually, I'm only going to tax them a little bit at the very start, like 5, and then I'll probably go jump up to about 20, and I'll leave it 20 for the entire game. Um, because then you just add more people in, and it doesn't. there's no point in increasing your tax, because then they get really unhappy. And when they get really unhappy, they then... Yeah, not very nice. We are in year 4. I'm probably going to go to about year 6, I reckon, depending on what's happened. Let's have a little look at the badge. As you can see, this is our, our keep with our badge on. It's looking beautiful. And you can zoom in really, really far. Like, I mean, look at that. You can zoom in really far. Because, so it's not bad. I wish you could... Can you see inside the houses? Hello? I'm in your house. Ah, oh, nice. Really decorated right here. Let's check. How, how well did you decorate? Oh, great. I can't see a thing. <laughs> right, let's go back. I keep I kinda of keep it the same camera the entire time. Just kinda of like overlooking. Because it just makes it look nicer. Right, we've got four people working on farms. We do have two idle people. idle people? Yeah, two idle people. Who will not be working just yet. That's a good thing. Because they're about to start building a small stockpile just here. Now these dead stones are really annoying because they can't be used. So you have to literally spend money and tools on a rock removal. And yeah, it's just pointless doing that. There's no point. Hopefully then they'll start moving those woods into this stockpile. Now I want quarry workers, farmers, quarry workers, then builders, then castle jobs. Castle job does not matter. If I'm honest with you, it doesn't. Now, the f people, we're now going to be losing 17 every single... We might have a bit of a problem with food at the start. If needs be, I'll get two more farms down. It doesn't make much difference. Um, I mean, look, 5, 10, 15, 20, and we're losing 17. So, 18 max, I reckon. Now, there's a one positive side to this. Right, so there is definitely people on these islands, but there's only three with four islands. Oh, shit. I didn't think it would come so soon. I didn't think it would come so soon. I'm gonna have to just put up with it. I need a well, is what I need. I need a well, like... I'm gonna put it here, because that's kind of a nice spot to put it. It's not that far away from the houses, plus they can walk on the road. Um. Yeah. Like, houses will be inside. Inside our walls. Food can can be outside because it won't make much difference as long as they're protected by some sort of wall, um, or by overlooking by overlooked by an archer. Um, one, two, three. So it's only going to here. Oh shit! So that's why I wanted it by four, so we can at least have. It. That's fine. That's fine. It doesn't make much difference. I'm going to build like a little four houses here and two houses there, a couple houses here, a couple houses there. It's not going to be much of a problem. I might I might build the second exit and my build it from here, just like that, to kind of make it look similar on each side. I do like symmetry, but I'm not a huge... Like, it doesn't... It does bother me, kind of, if it's really noticeable. If it's not really noticeable and you notice it, like... At the corner of your eye, it doesn't make much difference. But if it's really, really noticeable, like if I build like uh, another road here, going straight down for no reason, then yeah, it's obviously gonna be a bit of a piss take. But overall, not bad, not bad, not bad. We should be getting miles more than eleven from food this year. Oh, there you go, five, five, ten, fifteen, nineteen. Okay. Okay, 19's not terrible. 19 isn't terrible. 
So how much are we going to lose this year? How much are we going to lose? I don't want to put too many farms down because we can only have a max of 50 anyway. So I need to be get like the actual basics down first. I could probably build a... I could, oh yeah, that's a perfect place to put a... Dragon sided. I don't think it's going to hit us this, this, this early. It could hit the other peoples because they always have their towns maxed out in a straight away. I am going to build a forester here. Because... Oh shit, no, I should actually. Let's pause that a sec. I... I need to focus on other things first. Let's have a little look at the dragon before we end the video. Let's have a, we'll find out where the other people's bases are. It doesn't look like anyone's base is on this island, which is fantastic. Because that means I can expand onto this island if necessary. I build the bridge, obviously. I have a lot of fish, which is always beautiful as well. I mean, look at all the fish we've got. So we could be a major fish producer. And sell that and trade that with the other kingdoms. I don't want to go to war with other kingdoms because it's so tedious. Like, they're just annoying. There is unknown. There's people here. There's no one. There is no one there. There's people here. There's most definitely people here because that's where he's heading to. And you'll see their, their archers firing in a sec because they always have archers six years in which is stupid. They should actually have to build up their towns as well but they don't. It's near enough always maxed to the f to fullest. That's probably there. It's probably this massive bit here. Yeah, they just chopped down that tree. Maybe they don't have any arches. Or if they do, they've only got a couple. So that's quite interesting. They didn't actually attack. But is that fire in breath? I don't know if it is or not. Because I don't know. But as long as it leaves us alone, I don't really care. Now then, how's food coming along? So we're getting a plus seven, which is nice. Now, I think the most pointless thing is the orchard. That's pointless. Alright, you don't, you don't need the orchard, because first of all, it doesn't help with happiness. Oh, it does, actually. So maybe we should get it. That's not heading towards me, is it? No. Is there a person over here? There might be. There might be. I think if I get the orchard, it'll probably go here. And plus, there's four, three workers on something that doesn't really give you that much food compared to the farms. It brings in 12, and you can bring in... 15 from free farms, I think. I think, if off the top of my head, that's what I think it is, but... Alright, we're finally getting some, some stone, though, which is nice. We can slowly start our protection. I want to buy a stone gate first, two stone gates, so I'm going to need 80. That won't be done today. I'm going to end it as soon as this dragon pisses off. Plus, we're year 6 already, so... Okay, so there is a lot of things to get. We do need a charcoal maker, eventually because they need charcoal in their houses. Right now, it's not too bad, because the happiness is still quite high. As long as we don't get attacked by that dragon. It seems to be going backwards and forwards between the two islands. So I don't know if that means that there's no one on these two, and there's just two on the other big ones. I don't know. There's definitely no one on my island, because I can see the entire thing. We might have to go over there and have a little look later on. Now, I've never used the Greek fire emplacement. Um, I don't know if it's any good. I used the blister, I used the arches. Did I end up using that in the end? I really don't know. Alright, so we do have the stone gate, so we'll put a stone gate here. One, two, three, four. See, now to be fair, that's fine. I might build a. I'm gonna, I can. One, two, three, four. Four, four. See, no, I can do that. That's good. That's good. I just. All I have to do. Oh no, I've mi messed that up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're good. We're actually very good. That's perfect. So if I go from here, one, two, three, four, right here. Build it right there. And there we go. That's our start. That's our, that's our, that's our second main gate, or our, our, our one of our main gates. So they are uh, the dragon's now all the way up to the north. I assume that it's pissed off. Oh my god, there's a whale. Whoa. Hello, my friend. I didn't notice you were in the game. Have you always been there? I do not know. Very clear water there, which is quite nice. Yeah, so I think fish are going to be quite a main ingredient of my food. A source of food. A lot of it. So, it looks like we're going to have to be going to um, food. We're going to have to get a lot of fishmongers and, and fishing huts and stuff like that. 
and storage for the fish. But we are 11 years. That's fantastic. 11 years. Beautiful. I've got 11 years. Uh, let's wait for that to be built. Uh, until, until the next dragon attack. I don't think we have to worry about Vikings until we actually get defenses down. It's going to be a bit of a problem if the Vikings do attack right before we finish building. Because I can just close the gates. Because you can do that. You, you, the gates close when the, when the barbarians, Vikings. I don't know. I call them a bit of both. I interchange them a lot, so you'll you'll get to know that um, eventually. Probably, I'm probably going to stick with Vikings because there's a little Viking helmet on. Um, but if I call them barbarians, then you just know I mean Vikings. But yeah, I I want to know when they attack, and I want to know soon, sooner rather than later, because I need. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, there's 144 just for this strip alone, 144, uh, probably about 132. I was never 144, 144. We need roughly four, five hundred stone before we can even complete our defenses. Which is obviously going to be a bit of a piss take, so I'll probably build it with a bit of wood eventually. And why are they not, why is that not getting built? Finish that off, thank you. I'm waiting to end it. Now, I don't think there is a day and night cycle. I think that mod's just a bit of, uh, just not going to get used, I don't think. <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. It was just something I, I added in, because hopefully that would have been the case. Um, But yeah, this is Kings and Castles. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and will continue to watch the series, if you're new here. Um, then this is your first time watching a Kings and Castles save. It will be very, very hectic and very annoying later on, when I have to deal with people and barbarians, uh, vikings and dragons. It's going to be a bit of annoying, but we should do well. So if you have enjoyed, give a like and subscribe and all that bullshit. Go follow my Twitch, it is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.